Hello, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. When last we left off, we found our way out of the Fade. Um, we destroyed the Sloth Demon, who is lying on the floor right there. We got him, no problem. And uh, now we're going to continue our way up to through the tower, the Magus Circle Tower, and um, gonna try and save them from whatever crazy abominations have taken over. Um, I think everything is good to go. I have this new thing down here called the Litany of Adrala, which um, we're going to need in the final battle up here, but I think, uh, I think we're good. Let's move on. Adventure! And got some loot here. Loot! Shinies! Health poultice, dagger. Ooh, that was actually, those three health poultices. Excellent. Excellente! Hmm. I see more shinies. Acolyte staff, is that any good? Not really. Kind of meh. Kind of meh. Char charm charred corpse. Charred corpse, not charmed corpse. Ooh, libertarian's cowl. 12 defense. That is quite good. Take that. Uh, who should we give it to? Probably. Maybe Win. I think. Uh, it's definitely better than that. Does Win have a helmet? She does. But a crappy one. Probably should give it to her because... Where is it? Libertarian's cow. Um, it has mana regen. And I want my healer to have as much mana as I can get her. So, Libertarian's cow. There you go. Looks absolutely atrocious, but thankfully we have that mod. So everything is fine. Yay, she doesn't look like a tool. Going forward. Oh, I see a book. Read it. Codex... On Kalahad's rise to the throne. If uh, you're interested in what all these uh, all these books say, that I'm picking up all these notes and such, you can find all this information out online. Um, the, a good site is just go to the Dragon Age Origins wiki, and um, I think it's on Wikia. And yeah, I mean, none of it is extremely important to the plot of the story of uh, of this game. It's just kind of flavor background text. And I don't want to really want to bore you guys with it, so I'm just passing it over. But if you haven't, you should check it out, because... Ooh, whoa, Dragonlings. Yeah, if you like the, the, the setting, it's a good uh, it's good filler. So you go ahead and attack. Um, Shale, go ahead and move in. Do your thing. And Miss Morrigan. We got him lined up. Yeah. I think I got Ash too, but Ash will be okay. Let's see. We'll crushing Prison that one. We'll freeze that one. Get a kill. Paralyze on that one. And it's gonna die. That's okay. Hey, Ash gained a level. Sweetness. Let's do it. Level it up. Okay. Um, yeah. I actually, um, I do have a confession. I unlocked Berserker on accident through a, a mod, and I didn't mean to. I don't want to unlock things before the game was supposed to let me. Um, so I'm, I could put it in there, but I'm not gonna, just because I shouldn't have it yet. But, um, at the same time, I probably wouldn't do it anyway, just because, I, I mean, I might, it's between that and Reaver. Um, everyone says that Reaver is better than Berserker if for tanks. But I'm not sure yet. Definitely doing champion when I get that, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So what do we do? We need more we need more strength. We need Cunning is good. We need no more cunning. I think cunning is good for the rest of the game. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with a um, few points in strength and go one in constitution, get his life up just a little bit. And let's see, we can get disengage, which he doesn't need yet. Death blow is level twelve. Um, let's go ahead and get Shield Wall, which is uh, pretty much a better version of Shield Defense. In this mode, character shield becomes nearly a fortress, adding a significant bonus to armor and a greater likelihood of shrugging off missile attacks, but at a cost of reduced damage. So you don't do as much damage, but you also don't miss as much. Like, the Shield Defense makes you miss things, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But this one is, uh, is a bit better for Tanky, because Tanky doesn't need to do damage. He needs to... Like, hitting is better than not hitting. So, shield wall it is. And, yeah, that's all. Play. That's my reasoning, anyway. 
And, oh, nope, wrong thing. Go to tactics. I'm going to make sure that he has... Actually, he doesn't have it. Let's do it right now. Self, uh, any... Actually, we'll do it... Um, uh, where is it? Most enemies... Blah, 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 blah. Game, game mode, combat, and we'll put on... Use activate mode, sh uh, shield wall. There we go. And I'll put that over with the rest of them. And yes. Okay, so we're good. Alrighty. And I'm going to turn off shield defense and turn on shield wall. Yeah, now he is a bad, bad man. At least he's a bad, bad tank. Yes? Okay. Continuing. Opening up a chest. This one looks important. Caddis of the Lady of Skies. Of the Skies. 30 physical resistance. That's pretty good. Beef bone. Mabari war harness. This is just all good stuff for our friend Mr. Dog. Where is Mr. Dog anyway? Mr. Dog, come back. Actually, I have a power for that. It is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Dog whistle. Actually, put that on my bar down there. That's good. In case I need him. There we go. Dog is back. And Dog gets... Alexander, rather. He gets a new thingamabobber. Where is it? I just picked it up. I guess it's under armor. Yeah, it is. Okay. Mabari Warhammer's War Harness. Plus two armor penetration. Plus eight armor. That's, I think, better than two constitution. The two constitution essentially is ten hit points. Which is... Whatever. Yeah. Ten hit points. Okay. And uh, we also have... Um, yeah, the Caddis of the Lady of the Skies. We're definitely going with that. Don't really encounter many beasts, especially not in here. 30 physical resistance is a lot of physical resistance, but, you know, it's just physical resistance, so. And Shale, what are Whoa. you doing? Stop that. <laughs> I should actually set up, um, act no, I don't want to. I'm going to fig figure out her tactics off screen. Okay, that's done. Do -do 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 -do. Going through the door. Combat! Uh, hmm. One of these demon... I have a feeling they're gonna come in from all directions. Okay. Morgan, be ready. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy with a crushing prison. I'm gonna hit this guy with a freeze. Eventually, I think he resisted it. Alright, yeah. So I knew we were gonna get guys from the back. I'm gonna go ahead and stun them. At least one of them. And I'm going to throw out a Paralyze on that guy. Yeah, everyone's holding. That dog does pretty good damage. Not as much as Morgan, but uh, still worth having. Nice. No problem. Okay, loot stuff. Scrap of paper. Probably don't need as it. Gray Iron Axe. Probably don't need that one either. Mm, do to do, do. Ch uh, chest lock chest break it open enchanter cowl uh okay that's the same one she has equipped so not a big deal there Ooh, my nose itches excuse me Whew. all of a sudden it was like nose itch get it i couldn't not it was going to bug me the rest of the night greenstone yay i think i, I think i sell those Still haven't figured it out for sure, but I wish I could remember things. <laughs> hey, all right. Level up from breaking down a box. Uh, private documents, those you can sell. Oh, I lost the beast man's dagger. Oh, crappy. Well, that's what happens. Level up. Shale. Shale needs, um, let's see, some constitution. I'll put some strength in there, too, for when I get... Um, when I get so I can do these other modes more effectively. Uh, da, 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 da. So I can start getting um, other forms. I have pulverizing blows and I have stone aura, but I think I'll go with precise strike because this I can use in any of the other forms. So that'll be good. If I can't use stone aura for whatever reason or don't want to, I'll have precise strike, which will help. Um, and death blows for level 12, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. Alright, moving on.
Huh. Huh. And, mm. Shinies. Hope it's not a trap. It is a trap. Ah. <laughs> I saw it. Oh, wow. There's plenty of them, isn't there? Alright, I am... She crushed... Oh, you're so good, Morrigan. You crushing prison the greater rage demon. Go ahead and fire him, too. And... Uh, I'm likely to hit just about everybody if I try and do a flame blast. So I'm just gonna paralyze this... This guy. Killing him. He's dead. Ash is perfectly fine. And did I turn on? I did not turn on Shale's ability, I forgot. <laughs> it's been like a day since I played this game, so... Ah, I lost the Enchanter Cal too. Ugh. Not having a lot of luck right now with that, which is a shame. Oh, my inventory's full as well. That's annoying. Well, there's certainly things I could drop, like rough studded leather. Don't need that. Destroy. Do I want an iron dagger? Not really, but... Would have liked that enchanter's cowl poop. At least for the selling, you know? Okay. Oh, here we go. Ah, I remember this. This is important. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. A Templar, and it seems he is a prisoner. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh, enough visions! If anything in you is human, uh, kill me now and stop this game. You broke the others, but I will stay strong for my sake. For theirs. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah! Uh, I will not break. I'd rather die. Hmm. Snap out of it. I've got no time for these games. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. <laughs> You're pretty dense, aren't you? Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. Did Gregor send you? How? How did you get here? <laughs> I'm a Grey Warden, and I'm trying to help save the tower. Good. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They cased us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and... Oh, there was nothing I could do. So, you know, you cage mages. And, you know, when they raise a big stink, it's like, oh, well, you're just, you just, you know, magic is evil, obviously, so you need to be locked up. But, you know, the moment they cage this guy up, he's like, no, it's, it's like I'm an animal. Ugh, oh, the hypocrisy. Ugh. Oh. Stopping. Sorry. Where are Irving and the other mages? Mm -hmm. Aldrin will pay for what he's done. Aldrin will pay for what he's done. To think, I once felt pity for the circle. Now I'd like nothing more than to wipe their taint off the face of Thedas. Whoa. Not all mages are evil. Only mages have that much power at their fingertips. Only mages are so susceptible to the infernal whisperings of the demons. This is a discussion for another time. Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred, where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. And you do. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. You have to end it now, before it's too late. I will not kill an innocent. 
Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended, to guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live, you must kill everyone up there. I'd rather spare Maleficarum than risk harming an innocent. Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! I do not fear Maleficarum. They should fear me. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? We don't know they are all blood mages. I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore. Ah, but what can I do? Has it considered the fact that ridding the world of these mages might be of benefit? The Templars will still help with its war. Why make things difficult? These mages could use some crushing. That's what I say. Yeah, Shale does not like mages, because she was once enslaved by one. Persuade, you don't really think that's a good idea, do you? Well, maybe not. But it would be remarkably satisfying. Doesn't it agree? I do agree. As you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. Good. Then you can't cause any trouble. My cage is Aldred's doing, or one of his mages. Once they're dead, I will be free. And then I will also decide what to do with the others. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Yes. Now, see, here's the thing about all this. It's like, okay, if you enslave people, or not necessarily enslave them, but the mages are in a gilded cage, you take away their freedom, and you oppress them, whatever, that pushes people into a corner and makes them do desperate things. So if the only magic they're not allowed to use is blood magic, because it's too powerful and leads to demon worship and all that, then that's the stuff people are going to turn to to rebel against you. It's like, if you want people to act right, you gotta educate. You can't just yell and scream and lock people up. And you, okay, now you're gonna act right. Oh, oh, I am? Oh, okay. Ah, foolish, foolish people. But, I'm just a warrior from High Ever. What do I know? Alright, what do you need, Win? You get some new spells. Spells it in. Glyph of Paralysis, that's kinda cool. Crowd control. I, if you haven't noticed, I do like crowd control. The cast summons a spell wisp. A caster summons a wisp, grants a small bonus to spell power for as long as the mode is active. That's pretty good. You have a smaller pool of magic, but you um, uh, your spells are more effective. Uh, I'm not sure though. I also do want to get some spirit stuff eventually. Not so much ent entropy with her. And I can't get Life Ward just yet. I guess I'll go for now. Mm, can't get Mass Rejuvenation. I need 28 magic for it. I can always just hold off. I don't necessarily need to spend it right now. Spell Might, Mind of Clash, blah 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 blah. Okay, I'll go over this later. She'll be fine. And, uh, okay. Okay, up here, this is the big boss battle up there. Oh boy. I'm gonna actually save it. I'm gonna have my own save game on top of the auto save. Just in case. And, yeah, now we're gonna need. I'm gonna need this. Yes. Turn this on. Why this turned off, I don't. Oh, that's right, because I have it set for in combat. That's why. Which is fine. Thank you. 
gift that I offer. So that's how babies are born. Ah, look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? That, uh, that voice actor is the same one who did the... Um, uh, who, is, who is the name of your master in Jade Empire? The... Um, Spoiler alert, who used to be the end, who was the end boss. Same guy. Love that guy's voice. He's in a lot of games, but he's in this one too. Bioware loves their voice actors. Okay, uh, look what we have here, an intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? <laughs> I think I'll just kill you if that's all right with you. Hmm. I take it you're Aldred. Oh, very observant. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Naturally, you're not frightened of us at all. Oh, no. Oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you upset I killed your lackeys? We needn't fixate on who killed whom. That doesn't help our relationship. What are you trying to accomplish by torturing these people? A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The Chantry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. I'm glad so many of them stood up to you. And what good did that do? I still won. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I, Irving? What have you done? Done to him. Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually. As will you. <laughs> no, I won't. I'd rather die. Killing you would be a waste. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life. That doesn't sound very appealing to me. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. All right. 
And um, Wynn is correct, because periodically um, the, he's going to start controlling these mages to come out and attack us. And uh, we can use the litany to break that control, and then the, the mages will fight with us. Which is a great swing, but Shale first, you, get in the middle. Oh boy, there he is. That is Uldred. I believe he's a pride demon now. Alright. Can I... This would be crazy, but I'm going to try and paralyze him. Nope, he resisted. Alright, well, let's kill these little guys. The sooner we get rid of them, the easier it is to deal with Uldred. Okay. Ooh, I froze him. That was awesome. Okay, so over there you see... I'm gonna start trying that out. Oh, Frozen. When you really do not need to be up there, do you? Could you go over here or something? And... Do, do, do. Okay. Now, let's get our Litany ready. Get him targeted. Go! Uh, it didn't seem to work. <laughs> Do I have to use it? Maybe I have to use it now while they're doing that thing. Alright, well, that's okay. In the meantime, go attack that guy. And keep killing Uldred. And frozen. Cooper snaps. Let's try the litany now. Come on. Eh, did not work. I must be using it too, too early. Come on, do the thing. He's almost dead. And there's another one. Is the litany up yet? All right, there we go. Now it worked. I was using it too late before. So now that mage will not come out and attack us. Not that we're having too much trouble, but... Oh, crushing prison. That's not good. There we go. Well, that was a little crazy. Let's loot this guy. Okay, Cinderfell Gauntlets, plus 20% fire damage. Ooh, yeah. Take all that stuff. Anything else around here? No. Alrighty then. I'm actually going to save it here just in case the game does something weird, because it's happened before. Omega, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you alright? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynn? I wasn't alone. I had help. Damn right you did. The circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the tower is once again ours. I would like to look around before we leave. All right, but please hurry. Gregor should be informed of what happened here as soon as possible. Um, just in case. Uh, do, 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 do. I always pick that option if I have it. With just about any game, you gotta make sure that um, you, like, oh, are you sure you want to move on? Yes, I'm sure. Are you ready to leave yet? We should tell the Templars about what went on here. Yes, we should go now. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. It's true. How about a nice, you know, a nice flat? Or at least put some elevators in the darn tower. They don't know what elevators are. Irving? Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. 
Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. <laughs> if you spare Vin one blade, blood mage, we may regret it later. No, no, no. <clears throat> I believe order has been restored to the circle. We will rebuild. The circle will go on, and we will learn from this tragedy and be strengthened by it. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. It had to be done. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. And what will the Templars do? For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving. It is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Yay! We win. Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and talk to Cullen. I'm glad I'm still alive, but the Circle's future still remains to be seen. This is true. We'll actually see Cullen again in Dragon Age 2, where he um, is stationed under Knight Commander Meredith. And he's a bit we more the reasonable. Tower in disarray. The circle nearly annihilated. Though so it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. I'm glad I could help. From what Gregor said, it seems that you came here seeking allies. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. So I have your word? You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynne, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. Hmm. <laughs> I don't need you tagging along and nagging at me. Nah, I can't say that. You can come with me if you really want to. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden. But no that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Yes, my duties also call me away. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. Huzzah! Yeah, and she'd been unlocked. Magic Sympathizer. Now, I could have gone the other way. I could have wiped out all the mages, and then the, the Templars wouldn't have had anyone to look after, and then they could have joined me. But um, I much would rather have the mages, uh, if only because that seems the good thing to do. Um, most of them were innocent. Uh, and having mages against Darkspawn is really, really nice. So... Now, and really, the Templars are going to follow the mages wherever they go. So, really, you get both. I mean, the Templars are going to go where the mages go. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Don't you? All right, let's trade. Okay, I certainly do have some stuff. So, let's go ahead and sell some junk. 
Gray Iron Axe, Iron Bow, doo -doo -doo -doo. Magic Staffs, getting rid of them. They are pretty lame. Selling, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Templar Steel Helmet, mm, maybe, perhaps. Studded Leather Gloves. Uh, those are tier two. Sell them. Leather, steel, chainmail, steel. Hmm. Gray iron. Templar armor. Now this stuff is uh, pretty nice. This is um, um, pretty good. Actually, that is actually amazing uh, tank gear right there. Um, and if I become a Templar, I can use it. But it gives you plus three willpower and plus 20% spell resistance. That is pretty amazing, and it's um, it look at the the armor is double what the, my gray at warden armor is. The only thing is, is I need to be a templar, which means I use need to use one of my specializations to equip it, and I'm not sure I really want to use um, templar. Really don't know about that, but that man that armor is so good. I know Alistair can equip it, so at least I can get it on him, but I probably won't be using him all that often. But that's okay. Uh, that can go. That can. All those can go. We're getting some monies. War Paint of the Wolfhound can go. Studded Braid can go. And I don't need all of these crystals, do I? Yeah, I don't need that one. For sure. Large Chip Spirit Crystal. I'm using. I believe I'm using the other. The Clear Spirit Crystal. So I'll just get rid of that. <laughs> and I have a whole bunch of these things. I need to figure out who's going to be equipping this stuff. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Silver ring. We can sell that. We can sell that. Ice band. Yeah, I, I don't worry too much about these little minor resistances. It's They're better than nothing, but there are, there are better stuff. There's better stuff out there that does a lot more. Uh, do, 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 some, do, do. That goes to Morgan. We'll do that back at camp later on. Uh, Morgan, Morgan, win. Okay, bunch of gifts. Um, selling the malachite and the greenstone, and the garnet and the private documents. That's half a gold right there. Blank vellum. Selling all those. Alrighty. And uh, I could, I should probably sell these uh, these salves and stuff. I just never get around to using them. I'm kind of worried though because I don't want to be stuck in a situation because this is hard mode so I don't want to be stuck where I won't be able to get the things I need and this is of course is uh, crafting items and all right but we at least we've cleared space um, can actually do we are there any good injury kit recipe that is good should get one of those <laughs> this store is gonna be here uh, pretty much till the end of the game so I can always come back and grab this stuff so I'm not in a huge hurry to buy everything, but you never know. And yeah, and it actually has the stuff I sold it. Reinforced Magus Cowl this is pretty good. Gets me, gives me some willpower. Uh, do 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 do. This stuff is kind of boring. Viridium, yeah, viridium's nice. The the higher quality materials just are they help out so much. They're expensive. Yeah, they're the Staff of the Magister Lord. I want it so bad. Six willpower, six spell power, two mono regeneration in combat. Fire damage and spirit damage. Yeah, that's that that's going to Morrigan if I can ever get it. If I can ever get it. Alright. I think that's all for now then. Leaving. Eight gold. Okay. So that's good. And I believe we're done here. Let's uh, talk to uh, Come Knight Commander Gregor one more time. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. We crushed their heads. It was fun. Hmm. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. Do, 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 do. I am quite impressive, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll say that. And I am thankful you arrived when you did. The circle will be back to normal in no time. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Later. All right. Going. Good. Uh, good episode. All right. Let's head back to camp.
I lied to you, you know. Oh, hello. About why I left Ole. So, um, little Miss Liliana has something to tell me. So why did you lie? Why did you lie to me? I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not. But you should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. Hunted? What for? I was framed, betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts. How to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her and because I enjoyed what I did. So you were dutiful, but you still got in trouble. You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body, sealed documents. Important documents? It turns out that they were. My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Don't open the package! Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orle to other countries. Nevara and Antiva among others. It was treason. So? It's just Orle. Nah. Um, my guy isn't that dense. Hmm. Is this a bad thing? I considered it to be bad. My life has barred, taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries. It takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. Most countries don't appreciate treason. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand to make me look the traitor. She betrayed you? Yes, the Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. Yes, implied rape for the lose. How unpleasant. The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something, at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. And so you came to Ferelden, to Lothering. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. Yeah, at least you're not telling this lie anymore. No, no, no. Come on. Don't be so... Ah. I'm a jerk sometimes. Mm -hmm. You will be safe in my company. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. Yeah, um, you know, Ash is a bit of a, um, he tries to stay straight and narrow for the most part, but he also recognizes that Darkspawn are the real threat and really the thing that he, that's what he needs to be focused on. And Liliana has definitely proven herself to be valuable uh, in my, in his quest. And as long as she continues to be valuable, then she'll have asylum with the Grey Wardens. As long as that's true, then we don't have a problem. And she, so far, has turned out to be quite, uh, quite genuine, you know? She hasn't even, there isn't even a hint of betrayal so far. Now, who are you? 
Emissary Pet Pether. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. They will work together? The sincerity of your cause has drawn them together under a common banner. It would not have happened otherwise. It's exactly what I thought. Yeah, see, the Templars will go where the mages go. So, you know, get the mages, and then the Templars will follow. All right, well, I think that's all for today. Thanks very much for watching, and everyone have a, uh, a great start to 2013. Until next time, this is Question All the Things. Farewell.